you know me by now, and if you know me, you know I love my food. So you can imagine my surprise and excitement when someone told me yesterday that Shenzhen is actually really famous for its street food markets. So I've come here to Dongmen Street Food Market to experience some of China's most tastiest and quintessential street foods. Before I get stuck into this video guys, I want to apologize in advance about the horrible audio quality of this video. It's really loud in here and I doubt I'm going to get crystal clear sound, so bear with me. Hope you enjoy the content nonetheless. So here in China, night street food snacks like these here are known as xiaoye. And they're the kind of foods that you want to have at 3 a.m. after a long night out, surrounded by friends, talking about the crazy things you did the night before. That's what xiaoye is about. For you, what is the best food of China? It's good. To be honest, it would be irresponsible of me to do a street food video and not get a chuar. When I used to live in Beijing, this was my go-to street food snack. And I always found it so funny because of the Beijing accent. When you're inviting friends out for some barbecue meat after work, it would come out like this. A glimmer. Good times. It's spicy, it's fragrant, it's tender, it's delicious. For me, this is like one of the pinnacles of Chinese street food. Okay, so since we're in Shenzhen, and Shenzhen is very famous for its oysters actually, it has a long history of oyster farming. I thought it was very necessary to order some oysters as street food. Hey, come on, let's eat one. What did you say? I said it's What a deal. 20 renminbi for 7 oysters. That's like $4 for 7 oysters. So here we have our locally shopped Shenzhen oysters. They look fantastic. Let's give this sucker a go. Oh, hot, hot. Guys, I'm Australian. I'm extremely fussy when it comes to oysters and these are absolutely fantastic. Actually, in Australia, I've only ever had raw oysters. We eat them fresh right out of the sea. These are cooked and I've never had a cooked oyster until this moment and it's really delicious. It's hot, it's steamy, it's garlicky, flavorful right off the walk. I can't get enough. Oh my god. 10 out of 10. Okay, this here, Liangpi, it's another one of my favorite Chinese street foods. It's more from like northwestern China. Hey, like for Liangpi. Here it is, Liangpi. My mouth waters just watching her make this dish. It's rice noodles, and then you've got all these lovely toppings like cucumber, onions. And then what makes this dish is the sauce. It is so saucy. It's got like five or six sauces on it. You've got like chili oil, sesame oil, soy sauce, and other ones that I've forgotten in this moment of excitement. The flavor combination is ridiculous. Uh, so as I'm eating my young pea, this lovely man has come up and he's given me one of these. Of course I have to pay for it, but he's too nice to say no. It cost me 10 renminbi, but I think it's worth showing you guys anyway. So this is Big Town Polo and it's a typical street snack of Beijing. Um, I've had it more than once, I have to admit. It is sickly sweet. You want to hear this to believe it. Ready? I hope you heard that. It has the best crackle of any street food. So basically it's this fruit inside, a fruit I've only ever had in China, and it's covered in like sugar. It's like a candy apple, but China's version. And it's really great. I refuse to eat cockroaches. I don't care how many people watch it. Yes. Uh, I'm a huge potato fan. Really, I'm a huge carb fan. Anything that's carby and can make me fat, I just have a predisposition to love. These are my jam. They're like these spiced potatoes. They're absolutely delicious. Yeah. Oh, that is what I came for. When I was studying in Shanghai many years ago, my friends and I would start every day with a jian bing. It's impossible not to love jian bing. It's absolutely delicious. It's like the Chinese pancakes. It's, it's one of my faves. <laughs> and this here is the best part of a jian bing. Crispy, crispy. So they roll it up, cut it. 
got the most delicious things in there. Guys, this is gonna have to be my last one for the night. I am so full right now, but there's always room for a This is some serious food ingenuity right here. This is everything I love about Chinese street food. I am so full right now. Worth it. I need to go find somewhere to lie down now. But uh, I hope you liked this episode as much as I did, and I'll see you next time. Bye.